Thank you everyone for joining us today. Welcome to ND Graphics Product Options for Floor Graphics Seminar. Today I'm going to take you through some important things to know before you match manufacture a floor graphic and then also some matching materials that go along with a number of different installation sites. First and foremost, you're going to see on the screen a number of different things that we think are the most important factors to keep in mind when you are manufacturing a floor graphic. First of all, always use UL or slip rated laminate or print and go base material. This is a legal factor with regards to where you're installing um, the actual graphic. And then we're also asking you to use approved floor graphic materials because they are manufactured for either clean removal or to ensure proper wear. You also always want to ensure that you are installing on a clean and dry surface. This means that you have to properly clean the surface and it has to be completely dry before proceeding with installation. You also want to pay during the installation time close attention to the minimum application temperature. If, the, if it's too warm out, if the concrete's too hot, if the surface is too warm, or alternatively, if it's too cold, you're going to have it you're going to have issues with your actual install. We are recommending that plus 10 degrees Celsius is usually best. Graphic longevity is also always going to depend on the amount and type of traffic, i.e. foot traffic versus lift tra traffic. In most cases, the majority of floor graphics are rated for a specific amount of foot traffic. That means people walking over top of it back and back and forth. There are a number of other ratings that are available for vehicular traffic, but that's going to be um, highlighted in the technical data sheets for each one of the products. There's also no such thing as a permanent floor graphic. Longevity is normally anywhere between a minimum of three months to a maximum of a year. Now, that doesn't necessarily mean that every product's going to last for a year, so you do have to make sure that you're paying close attention to the specification sheet. You also want to make sure as well that you use proper material. Indoor materials are not suited for outdoor use. Outdoor products have thicker adhesives and are really different top materials um, that can withstand the specific elements. The other thing to keep in mind as well is once the graphic is being installed into the space, dragging articles and turning rebel wheels over top of the graphic will lift them. So make, I'm going to take you through a list of questions to ask before you proceed with the install to make sure that you choose the right product. Also, waxing the floor after installation can seal the edges and increase durability of the floor graphic if it needs to be down for a long time. This isn't something that needs to be done for a temporary graphic. If you don't know what the required lifespan is of the graphic, it's always best to use a two component i.e. meaning a base and laminate construction. Normally these materials will wear more evenly over time than something that is a print and go material. So a couple of useful questions to ask the end user or the client before you get going is, when does the graphic need to be installed? I.e., this is about temperature and, and also will give you the indication of what surface it is that you're sticking to. How long does the graphic need to last? This will allow you to choose whether or not you're going to go with a print and go or whether a base and uh, printable base and laminate combination is the style that you're to your leading towards. Also, what kind of surface is it being applied to um, in terms of is it tile? Is it a terrazzo floor? Is it a smooth uh, sealed concrete? That kind of thing. And also, who is doing the install? Who is doing the install can be, if it's a professional installer, you know that you need to provide that one inch of extra overlap in the actual panels, and then you're also going to number the panels on the back before it gets sent out. If it's uh, the end user doing the install, there are some print and go materials that are specifically suited to that end application. So I'm going to take you through a few of those things now. So things to know before you physically choose the product. What ink are you going to be using? If you have a solvent printer, you're pretty much good to go on the majority of things I'm going to show you, but there's a number of products at the end of this listing that are not compatible with solvent ink. So keep that in mind when you're choosing a product. Also, is the product that I've chosen compatible with that ink type? And what's the out so outdoor temperature going to be? I know we sort of hit a lot on that temperature point, but it is very important to make sure that you're installing things to get the best possible life out of the product. And all of the aforementioned um, details can really end up affecting whether or not the product's going to last for the amount of time that you need it to last for. So now let's get into some of the products. So what I've done is I've got I've created a presentation here that goes through print and 
go floor graphics first. And these are all sorted by lifespan. So the shortest lifespan ones are going to be listed at the at the beginning. And then I'm going to get into the print and laminate versions at the end of this presentation. So when it comes to dry tack, this material is compatible with all inks, so it doesn't matter what ink set you're using. Um, spot on two uh, Spot on Floor 200 is a fantastic product because it's got a dot adhesive on it. This adhesive can go down with a simple swipe of a hand. Either that or a felt edge squeegee is a perfect tool to use for during the installation. But this is something that the end user can install. So think of grocery stores, retail sections, things like that. And this material is going to be really good for any sort of smooth floor, um, fairly smooth tile, and also low pile carpet. Aslan also makes a, a print and glow floor graphic. This product is called DFP33. This is a direct print product again, so no lamination required. It is uh, clean removal if it's if it's removed up after six months. This is rated also for floor scrubbers, so floors cleaning and buffing pads can go over top of this material. And again, it's rated for smooth floors, tile, low pile carpet, and sealed concrete. The real advantage to this product, as an example, is that it's going to have a six month indoor life. But again, keep in mind, all of these, all of these lifespans are really um, determined by what your foot traffic is going to be. If you have 50 people walking in the front of the store, opposed to 5,000 people, um, the lifespan on the product is going to be different. Jessup also has a fantastic product called TexWalk. This is a print direct product. It is um, an indoor or a very short term one to two month outdoor. And it's very important with this product that whatever you're sticking it to outdoor be very dry or else it will not stick. Um, this product can also though be used on floors and walls. So this can make a wall graphic product, either that or if you've got a graphic that you want to start on the floor and go up the wall, so you've got a directional arrow or something, or striping in a hospital or something along that line, this product is going to be good for that. It will also stick to smooth to slightly textured floors, so nothing too heavy, but this material has got a lot of adhesive on it and can stick to things that aren't quite as smooth. It will also work on tile, low pile and slightly textured carpet, stone, painted walls, and then also metal. Another point to go back here to this low pile or slightly textured carpet. Carpet can be made of a number of different fabrics and a number of different um, finishes. Low pile carpet is really the most that you want to stick to. There are a number of different rug rental companies and things like to that nature. That is basically a, a low pile carpet. Anything that is too shaggy or if the if the fabric on the carpet is just too long, the the graphic may stick, but it's probably not going to stay where you want it to. Either that or it may shift around, and it also may pull some of the fibers out when, when you're pulling up the graphic from the floor. So keep that in mind. Um, another couple unique print and go ones, um, Jessup Clearwalk, this base material, as you can see here from the Samsung advertisement that's in the photo, is actually clear. So this is good for smooth floor, sealed concrete and stone, and also tiles. This is the kind of rough textured uh, material that you find stuck to the bottom of bathtubs in hotels and things so that people don't slip. That's where this product originally came from. Um, and then they realized that you could print on it. So it is an indoor product. It's three to six months outdoor. And it can also go into um, wet locations as long as when you're applying it, the surface you're applying to is completely dry first before you put it down. The next product on this screen is going to be Jessup Sportwalk. This is a material that is very unique because it basically goes down for sporting functions and things like that where you've got a finish line or he's got some branding going down. Um, it can also be used for indoor, but it's really super short term outdoor as in one week outdoor kind of a thing. But this can do um, smooth textured floors, tile, asphalt, concrete, and then also terrazzo flooring as well. Last but not least in print and go, we've got Jessup Asphalt Art. This material is really the most robust outdoor um, print and go material that we have. This now, you'll notice this is the only one that we have that does not say it's compatible with all inks. This is a product that is latex and UV cure printable only, but it also has the longest outdoor lifespan of 12 months. You'll see in the photo here that this is a public space. Um, it's a walkway in between two buildings, but this material can also be driven over. The only thing you have to watch out for with regards to the install is that the print that goes down on the floor um, needs to be a minimum of 20 inches by 20 inches to make sure that if you do have people driving over top of it, if the tire is stationary, 
and the tire turns that it doesn't end up lifting the whole graphic. However, that can still happen with this, so keep that in mind. This material is meant to stick to asphalt, concrete, concrete block, brick, and also terrazzo flooring. Again, is it a, it's a print and go material, so the upper surface of the texture on this material may wear away first, but it is going to give you a really good long-term outdoor durability in terms of being able to just print and apply. So now we're going to get into some print and laminate options for floor graphics. Um, when it comes to DryTac, DryTac has um, an option called FloorTac. This is a pressure sensitive removable uh, adhesive. This material does have a little bit of extra adhesive on the backside to make sure that it's going to stick to a number of different things. And you can see from the list on the screen in front of you that when this is laminated with the Interlam Pro M Retex, which is a UL slip rated laminate, again, go back to that UL and slip rating, you're going to print your floor tack base, you're going to laminate with your Interlam Pro, and that sandwich together is going to give you um, a compatible material for three to six months that's going to be good for smooth floors, tile, terrazzo, um, sealed surfaces, and then also a waxed vinyl. Print and go from, from Avery as well. There's also a whole range of removable adhesive materials from Avery that are going to work here, and I've listed them here, the 2105, the 2105 EZRS, MPI 2120, and 2121. These materials, you have a choice because the 2000 series of laminates from Avery are all UL rated for slip resistance, and that means you've got an option of a gloss, a luster, or a matte over laminate that's going to give you an indoor three to six month uh, durability. These products are not rated for outdoor use, again, just indoor, and it has a complete listing of different things that you can stick it to that are underneath there. So that gives you a good Avery combination as well. Print and laminate materials from 3M. 3M's got a rather robust category of different materials that can that can go into a number of different locations. So 40C is our go-to with 8509, which is their luster over laminate that is also slip rated. That 8509 can also go on their 48C, which is a PVC-free floor graphic material, and both of those materials are good for three to six months. The, al the other alternative there is going to be IJ160 um, and 3645. This is a textured over laminate that makes a little bit of a thicker construction, but that is a three month, um, three to six months. It's going to be more towards the six month lifespan uh, for indoor graphics, and those three combinations, whichever one you decide to go with, is going to give you um, application for smooth floor, sealed concrete, low pile carpet, and then also tile. The other options that are also available to you um, are for outdoor application, which are listed at the bottom, are IJ160 and 3647, either that or IJ3662 and 3647. Um, the difference being is that the um, 3662 is specifically rated as a sidewalk, a uh, combination that gives you a little bit more life, which is going to be about six months. So that's going to stick to concrete, sealed concrete, and also some terrazzo flooring. Okay, so that's, that's just an example of what it looks like when it's on tile. So again, this is a 3647, which is a very, very thick 20 mil uh, textured laminate that will give you the longest life um, for high traffic areas. The last but not least in our range, everything that I've presented so far, whether it was a print and go material or whether it was a print and laminate combination, has all been floor systems that physically stick to a surface. We've got one other specialty option here from Jessup that is actually a movable floor mat. So if you think to the clear plastic mats that basically go underneath your chair in your office that you sort of roll over. This is kind of a sing similar type of system um, with the exception of the fact that it's a two-part system. So this is specifically meant for UV Cure Ink. So what it has, it, it has a textured clear face material that is available in either a fine or a coarse texture. You reverse print, so you're gonna print on the back, which is smooth of this material, and then you're gonna combine that with either a clear or a white coarse textured non-slip backer. So these two pieces then get laminated together, so the adhesive part of your textured backer will apply to the printed part of the two of the um, Matador face system to provide you with a two-piece construction that has a UL slip rated surface, 
and then also an anti-slip backer on the back of it. But the real advantage to this is that, as, as shown in the image at the bottom, if you've got a promotion or if you want to move your floor graphics, or if you're concerned that you need to stick it to wood flooring or something along that line, this option allows you to do that. So what you can do with this is, um, before you actually do the installation, which essentially is just laying it down on the floor, you want to make sure that you round your corners before placing it down. And rounding the corners really applies to everything I've presented today, because the rounder the corner, the better the, the floor graphic is going to withstand, um, withstand wear. And a movable floor mat system, the Matador system, is no different. So this Matador system can go on to um, the floor. It can also be used as a counter mat. It is highly durable. Um, and the white backer, that comes with it can basically replace UV white UV cure ink. So you don't necessarily need to have white ink for this system to work because the backer can um, can put those two things together and fill in the white flood. So you get a really good um, impactful image that you can move around when you'd like. So this takes us through um, the number of different floor options that are available from ND Graphics. If you've got any questions, please reach out to your local ND Graphics representative. And uh, if you'd like to, my name is Sandra Ondas. I am the product specialist at ND Graphics in Toronto. So if you'd like to, you can give me a buzz as well at the ND Graphics Toronto office. And I'm more than happy to help you uh, go through the right choices to make sure you are making the right choice for your floor graphic needs. Thank you for your time today. Have a good day.